all of them are going to start with a base layer of blue, of some kind of blue. And then while, so while somebody's doing that, somebody else, because there's going to be two of you guys on each storm drain, somebody else can start sketching on top of what's been painted so that we start getting the designs of this. Okay, so we'll have our different jobs to do and then we'll go in and fill in. I think it's kind of a multifaceted project in that its aim was not only to um, raise some awareness to sustainability, protecting our waters and things like that, but also to get the kids exposed to the community and like, and even just the way an art project goes from inception to, you know, the design process, approval, and then creation. They get to like experience that whole thing within the community. Water uh, is one of our precious resources that we have and, and the city of Eureka Springs was built on water. I hope it will bring awareness of how important uh, our water is and how important it is to have clean water. Uh, and the best way to do that is through uh, education and informing the public and with the art uh, as a great mecca and medium to uh, show people. I think this will be a great impact on the city and citizens. saving water in a place where everybody's walking by and seeing it, whether they're really acknowledging it or just noticing that it's there. I think it brings a little bit of light into something that was like boring and gross. Like it was just brown and then we made it pretty, you know? I think my hope with, with what happens in the future with this is that they see it and they love it and they want us to do more. Oh, I think the hard students are great. They're just one of our greatest assets that we have uh, in this community. <laughs>